Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Norwegian campaign. So we're in, we are invading the Netherlands, which is not how the last episode ended, but that's because I tried to record this episode and my recording software was of course not recording because that's just how life is. But uh, I did pretty much nothing except for discuss some strategy and plans. Uh, and uh, one other thing, and that one other thing is uh, that I just quickly mentioned that, you know, uh, as I'm recording this, uh, yesterday was New Year's Eve, meaning I'm a bit tired, to, uh, to put it in a way. Um, so, just be prepared for that. Uh, but yeah, we're invading uh, the Netherlands because I do want to get control over the important center of trade in Antwerp and Holland, as well as the Rhine Estuary. Uh, that's going to be super useful because I expect the English Channel to be our primary trade node in the future. Uh, it's going to be really good because right, even though right now the Lubeck trade node is more valuable, in, if we invest all our power in transferring trade away from Lubeck and into the English Channel, uh, we will be... Uh, I think that's going to make us more money. We're also going to send trade from the North Sea. And uh, the primary reason is that we have to trade here if we want to benefit from trade coming from Asia and Africa. And to a lesser extent, America. Because uh, we do have trade uh, we can send from Gulf of St. Lawrence. But that trade can also be sent to the English Channel. So in general, the English Channel is the trade node to go for. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous episode. But I think I was at least discussing the fact that I did not want to go to war against the Netherlands because I didn't want to trigger the coalition. Uh, although I read it again and it said that even though Magdeburg is going to be a co-belligerent in this war, they're not actually going to be able to call in their allies, meaning we don't have to fight England or the Teutonic Order or Saxony or anything like that. Which is really quite chill and relaxing. So yeah, we have gone into war. I'm gonna sign some leaders. And uh, we're just going to squish everyone, really. I'm currently moving my navy over here to kill the Dutch navy. They got away, though, so that is a bit sad. And, man, that's... Oh, hello. That's quite the army they got. Which is not very good for me, actually. Uh, so let's cancel improving relations with this guy, because I need access through Holstein. Well, it would be useful anyways. Um, okay, let's... Yeah, no, they can't go through there. Right? Yeah, no. Okay, they're just... I, I want them just to stand here, because... I don't want this army and this army to link up. I want them to be separated so that I can easily, more easily pick them off one by one. Um, so, yeah, okay, now they want to give it to me even though I haven't been improving relations. So, oh, we just want a sea battle. Um, yep, good good for us, I guess. So, yeah, we'll just block the Dutch. Uh, or actually, these guys are blocking us over here. It's not very useful. They got those uh, darn uh, galleys, but that shouldn't cause too many problems. So I say we sail over there and squish their faces be, uh, with violence and stuff. And that's my trade navy. You shouldn't be out here, I don't think. Actually, let's just join you up. Uh, yeah, and we'll go kill the Dutch. No? No. Nah, they're just gonna run away. Um, but I think we... They're at least not in port anymore, so maybe we can catch them. There's the Britain, Breton fleet. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I would want to kill that, although... How many boats do they have? Oh, damn, look at... Oh, okay, this is actually pretty, a pretty darn formidable navy. Maybe I'll want to rethink it then. Yeah, no, let's go, go over here and kill this navy first. Because that's more heavy ships than I have. Which is pretty darn scary, actually. Now, if the Bre Britons just want to send a bunch of troops over to uh, my isles over here, then that's fine by me. Okay, so the... Where did they... Ah, nice, they got split off. Now, hopefully, these guys will not... Why are we not fighting? There we are. Yeah, hopefully they will be dumb and just sit here and be drunk and stuff. Which they are, which is very useful. Uh, reason being that uh, that allowed me to kill the Breton Navy and their troops they were trying to land. So that should allow us to kill this Navy later on. Although we did get kind of our butt kicked that right there. So I'll go in here to scare out that Navy and... Um, I'll I'll station my navy here and I'll get over and kill this army, which I really would want to kill before any potential um, Dutch army comes down here. Oh damn it! They took it. Really? Are we really doing? Are we really doing this right now? What kind of leader do they got? Nah. For once, their enemy, the enemy leader is actually pretty darn crappy. Oh yeah, we're slaughtering. We are slaughtering. The death is real. Because the Dutch are coming. Uh, 
But I wouldn't mind trying to chase this army down. Deserve to be squished. There we are. Right, that's the end of that, and probably also the end of the war, to be honest. Oh, hello. Okay, the Breton Navy is still alive. But this is just their trade navy, though, so I feel confident. Um, so, I don't know. Do we go immediately over to the Netherlands? Uh, I kind of think we do, because I feel like someone else is going to declare war on them as well. And I would not want to see that happen. So, I say we march. And we want, we will be wanting to kill off all the enemy stacks before we start stack um, sieging. Although, we are uncomfortably depleted. So, I say we... Actually, let's be safe about it. And let's bring the other... And yeah, I probably should have gotten an admiral there, that was dumb of me, but oh well, there we go, Trinidad is done. Now we have to think about what our next colony is going to be, we still can't reach this shit down here. And also, another plan that I was discussing in the recording that never was to be, is that I do think I actually am going to conquer the Congo instead of making them a protectorate. The reason being, uh, it's all shamanist, so it's going to be super easy to convert, uh, so it shouldn't be very difficult to integrate it. They are too big uh, for us to just annex them straight away, but... I do want to get like a decent chunk of land here, just so that I can give it all away to um, uh, trading companies. Um, the reason being that I think that's going to give us plenty more um, trade power than if I just make them a protectorate. So, because I kind of got late into this area here and I need trade power. Of course, one issue is that we're going to be struggling a bit down here in the Cape of Good Hope, because the only real province of value, Cape, is already taken. I really should have focused on that earlier, but I didn't, so... Yeah, the Spanish got some really nice promises, so I I'll need to do something to try and catch up to that. Um, but yeah, let's try and go in for an attack. Don't know how good of an idea this is going to be. Yeah, the Dutch have quite the good generals. So if we lose this, we should be able to safely retreat, though. Uh, but I think we're winning. Our we're just, you know, we're just superior in numbers, really. So... Luckily for us, we can cross here, so we might actually beat the Dutch to... Oh, never mind, they just went over there for some reason. Well, aren't they a bunch of douchebags? Yeah, we're gonna lose some trade power there temporarily, that's okay though. Let's get that access, and let's see if we can swoop in here and knock them out. I feel like they're gonna run away though, but... Okay, well, at least they got their... I, I don't think we're gonna squish them here, but we're gonna punish them very harshly indeed. Now... Let's go in for another attack, although maybe crossing the strait there is not the smartest of ideas. No, no, probably wouldn't be that. Is Holstein... what? Why is Holstein fighting? Where are you fighting? The Hansa... oh nice! Go, go Holstein, yeah! No, wait, actually no, don't conquer... oh shit, he's gonna conquer the Hansa, isn't he? Damn it, that was my land! Oh well, I'll have to take it from him later. That's okay though, we can handle that. Hopefully this should distract Magdeburg though, and let me focus down here on this little asshole. I wonder if I can scare him off, Holland. Uh, what? Where's my navy? Yeah, I don't pay attention a lot. There you go. Go, run away. Mm. I didn't run away. Yeah, this was probably not the brightest idea, but you know, we're gonna defeat them, so it's alright. Might even be able to squish them here. Nope, we were not. England is in the coalition, that's okay. They're a bit late to the party, so it is whatever. And there we go, they're all squished now. So yeah, let the sieging begin, and I'll see you when I'm closing in on finishing that. Alright, we're killing off the last remaining Magdeburgian army here, so that was sweet. So now we can properly begin the siege. I also have to, of course, go knock out uh, good old Brittany. Should not be too horribly difficult, though. I don't really have enough troops right now to do it all at once, so... I think we'll just focus on finishing these sieges here first, and then we'll think about Brittany. So, that sounds like an alright plan to me. Oh shit! Friesland revolts! That is not useful, because... Yeah, this is part of the Dutch revolt events. Oof. Well, I am not gonna give it up right now, but I wouldn't mind giving it up after I have, um... Although actually 20, you know, we can defeat that, we can actually defeat that. I'm getting attacked over here for some reason, so let's stop that, I guess. There we go. Do they have more provinces somewhere? Oh, yeah, they have one over there, damn it. Yam it, yam it, yam it. 
I forgot. Oh, we'll have to go deal with that. Hopefully these sieges down here will finish soon. Alright, here we go. Here's an event. The Peace of Westphalia. The war of religion in the Empire has ended inconclusively, and the two sides have assembled in the city of Munster in Ves uh, Vespalia to sign a compromise peace. So, what does this mean? It means religious peace. Uh, permanent religious peace between the established blah, blah, blah. princes of the Empire, free to choose any other confession, and the Emperor may be of any faith. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's a thing. So basically, there's no dominant religion, it's just, believe what the fuck you want. That's nice, isn't it? That is just nice. Oh, Halsner is getting ruined by Magdeburg. That's fine by me. Die, you shitty navy! Thank you, appreciate it, bruh. Now let me continue my sieges. There we go, beautiful. Alright, we have sieged up all of Holland and Mecklenburg. Actually giving us 100%, so we don't even have to bother about Brittany. That's pretty darn sweet. But yeah, we're gonna try and kill this Dutch revolt at this point, because, uh, you know. The Dutch will be our subjects, and there's nothing they can do about it. There is something they can do about it, but... We're still gonna mess them up for thinking evil thoughts like that. But yeah, we need to peace out right now. We don't have to, but we are going to anyways. Uh, so, full annexation would be that much... Oh my god, that's horrible! Ay ay ay. So, like, the reason why I'm considering a full annex uh, instead of a simple vassalization, even though that's cheaper in terms of aggressive expansion, is that, like, we get 10 more by doing this. So, Lee, like, Switzerland is guaranteed. Why is Switzerland, by the way? Why is Switzerland going to be in a coalition against us? I do not understand this. Be a bar, like, everyone is going to be coalitioning the shit out of us if you do this. Even France is going to be a little bit like, eh, you know, about it all. So, Austria. Yeah, Austria. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely terrible if we do it. But I'm really tempted to do it uh, anyways. Because I feel like we proved earlier that we can keep using our superior navy to win wars we really shouldn't win, you know? Um, like, if I could just not annex Zealand, I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't mind just taking Holland and Antwerpen. But it's just not an option, sadly. Ooh, and that would be nice as well. We could do this. That's a lot less, actually. But we will have to do another war against the Netherlands, then. And that's going to be an annexation anyways, because their dumb capital is in right there. But this is... Hmm, man, this is... It's not easy. Could weaken them by giving that to Burgundy, which actually it's not that bad of an idea. Yeah, I like that. And cancel your friendships. Um, or we could just do the easy thing and just fucking make them a vassal. Ah, that's such a hard decision. That's the reason why I usually cut these parts out. Like if we do that, we could even uh, take this province as well. Things like Netherlands is the wrong religion and they're going to absolutely despise us for doing this. They're going to get a lot of aggressive expansion, that's going to take many many years to get rid of. Meaning we're going to be stuck with a vassal not really providing us what we want for super long. But I guess not having to deal with Dutch revolts is actually going to be super amazing, so... I think we're actually going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Because then the Dutch can just sit around and be Dutch and shit. And we don't have to care if they like I don't know I don't think they're gonna revolt like they just did in Friesland so yeah if this we're doing this vassal and we're gonna get like I like the idea that we're gonna get this one as well because this basically like this this gets us really close to the point where we don't have to fight any continental wars anymore um, so yeah let's see how this all works let's let's see that coalition oh baby that is nasty but, um, yeah. Hopefully this is going to tick down reasonably fast. And, I mean, we do have truces now with some of these nations, so that is very useful. Like, Magdeburg, for example, is not going to join the coalition. Uh, and we now have some more land decor. So, yeah, I feel like that was a successful war. We got Holland as a cute little vassal. 
course, he despises us above everything else uh, because he, he, you know, ro religious problems and that. But a lot of these bad modifiers are going to be going away decently fast. So, well, the the idea of expansion one is pretty bad, and that that's only going to get worse as well. So, yeah, this is pretty terrible. Like, how many relations do we need to annex them? Yeah, we need 190. It's still that. So. Oh well, guys, come on, it's not that big of a deal. Let's just let's just chill for a while now and kill rebels and such shit. All right, our colony in Luanda is now done. Norwegian Protestant, very beautiful. Um, so now we can start thinking about invading invading the Congo. But I do think I might actually go grab Benin instead uh, right now, because I really want to secure the Niger estuary before things get out of hand. Because you can see the English are also colonizing over here now. And this is not colonization, this is straight out conquest right here. And that is simply not okay. Uh, of course, we get the darn province with the Sunni religion, which is, you know, kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? Uh, and I do think we have to annex all of Benin to get the province. Uh, of course, I can't see uh, the rest of Benin, so hopefully they're not too big. Uh, but now we should be able to get down here. And. Uh, we can very much do that. So I'll take this one just because. They're all shit, but uh, at least I've killed the natives here, so we'll send our guy down here and uh, we'll try and colonize as much of this as possible, because I do need some trade power down here in the Cape of Good Hope. Although I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal, because let's face it, everyone who has power here has no other interest than, you know, sending that... Um, uh, trade over to the Ivory Coast, so they all want it in the in, they all want it around Africa right here. The only difference is that I want this to the English Channel, while the Iberians would want it to Sevilla. Um, so that is why this is important and this not as much. At least that's my logic. I'm not completely sure. So like I'm not a genius at this game that we all know. I think, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's bleed off our transport, which there actually are quite a lot of. I don't know if the um, Beninese or whatever you want to call them actually have any sort of, um, why do you call it, navy. So, I don't think this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be very simple to do. Uh, we do have Caspelli, very luckily, because we have that lovely colonial conquest because of exploration ideas, which give, basically gives us Caspelli against all pagans. Uh, although I think, no, actually, there are still some animus provinces. Thank God for that. Or thank, should I say, thank the gods. <laughs> so clever. Not really. I don't even know what that was. Whatever. Invade. Invade. I don't think we're going to get any noticeable aggressive expansion for this. Maybe against, like, England and Spain, but Spain, you don't care, Right? Right? Right. Uh, nah, he, he's, he's, he's got the meh idea, you know, he doesn't, it's, it doesn't bother him that much that I'm colonizing all over. Oh shit, yeah, we need to find the army. But I think it's gonna be okay, because, no, actually, level 10. Are we still taking the risk? Yeah, they only have 2,000, should be alright. Of course, I didn't check the, uh, yeah, build all the palaces. Yeah, we stomped them, on their faces. They're now dead. And also, uh, my trade fleet should not be up here derping. They should be in Europe trading and stuff. So let's make sure we send them back to do that. Because um, we have even more trade power now in Lubeck, so that's glorious. All right? did you have any allies or something, Mr. Benin? No, he does not. So this is going to be a simple little chunk of conquest. So yeah, we're going to get take these two provinces. Uh, simple as that. Uh, it's uh, only one of them who's actually in the Ivory Coast, but... The other one is Pagan, so it's not going to be a problem to integrate, I don't think. I'm not too worried. Oh, hello. People are getting protectorated. That's not a proper word, but whatever. Maybe we'll do a bit of that ourselves. Um, yeah, you, look at that. You can actually send trade from Timbuktu to the uh, Ivory Coast. I didn't think about that, because there's value here. And I would not, yeah, I would much prefer this valley going to the Ivory Coast rather than Safi. Because we don't really have any strength in Safi, so... And actually, it's going to make sense to just make protectorates out of all these Africans before the Spanish do. So yeah, we have some serious colonial stuff uh, that we need to sort out right now. That's going to be our focus, and I do not need to fund my army. Uh, I think that's going to be our focus for quite some time. And my god, I have a lot of inflation, actually. Is there an inflation guy here? No, there's a missionary strength, though. Which is going to be good. It's going to be useful. Should allow us to convert these Muslims painfully, painlessly. 
the grammar is not strong with me today. Whatever, who cares? I don't too much anyways. Uh, yeah, let's improve relations with France. And uh, let's keep going. Oh shit, here we go. Austria is in the coalition. Yeah, we need to chill. We definitely need to chill. I hope things do not escalate, because maybe... I don't know, Bohemia is still not in it. And who are you? Benin? Oh yeah. Have we... No, we have not occupied you yet. We still got some work to do. Oh my god, Galway. What are you doing? What is this? By the way, I totally forgot to core this province. That's kind of awkward. But in other news... Shit's Austrian, yo! Something goes for uh, Holland. Yeah, the Austrians have been busy covering the Danish here. So that's interesting. But uh, I'm not too scared of this coalition. I mean, right now it's not a big deal. For some reason the English is not in it. <laughs> which is weird. I don't know what's up with that, but whatever. Alright, here we go. We will now annex your face. Oh yes. It will be beautiful. Let's do this shit. Uh, Canada could have become self-sufficient. Very beautiful. I am colonizing around the um, around the Portuguese area, even though it very much pains me that they got these derpy colonies. If we ever get ourselves into some derpy war with the Portuguese, I would be more than happy to um, take this. Of course, it, maybe it would happen if my like maybe my colonial nations can do it on their own, because uh, Uland here will be strong, and uh, hopefully things will work out. What are you talking about? I find plenty of colonists. Although maybe maybe Africa. I don't know. Maybe we'll want to colonize some more. Like this is actually pretty good land, and it is just more land to give to um, to give to the uh, uh, trade companies. But I'm thinking maybe Natal would be useful because I wouldn't mind having some more uh, colonies down here. Of course, I don't know how far the Cape of Good Hope goes up into this region, so we'll have to see how uh, this will all be done. Uh, but since there are plenty of natives there right now, I guess we'll just start another North American colony. And uh, we'll also, of course, be annexing Benin. Which is going to give us barely any aggressive expansion, and only like some Africans will be pissed about that. So this is no no, no problem at all. Send them demands, yow. Why you know sending demands? Takes a while. Wait, what? Spain does what now? They control course? No, they don't. What are you talking about? You drunk fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it didn't say core. I, I, I'm guessing it said colony. Seriously, why are we not pieced out yet? I thought I sent this peace deal. There we are. Thank you. Appreciate it. We will take Wari as well in the next war against the English. Wouldn't hurt, you know. Uh, so we can core this right now. Really cheap, very nice. Uh, but more importantly, I think we might just convert them first, actually. Just to reduce revolt risk a bit. Because these guys are not going to be approving this whole Norwegian occupation thing. Could increase autonomy. Uh, for some reason, we cannot do it here. Why not? Can do it here, though. So we might as well. I do not understand. Whatever, let's give all these things to trade companies. I'm not gonna have taxes there anyways. How come I cannot give this to any company? Ah, oh, maybe there's no charter here. Maybe there's no actual darn charter. Well, maybe, maybe we don't want this colony then, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Whatever, I'm, I'm sure it can't hurt. I'm sure it can't hurt. Oh, here we go. Black news, uh, and the next area is also pretty decent. We have been lucky with the kings and queens. I said that before, and I will say it again. This is good. This is good. So yeah, I'm currently improving relations with uh, Timbuktu because I misclicked. Uh, we should probably just stop that. Uh, the one I wanted to improve relations with was Dagbon, because if we improve it enough, we should be capable of making them into a lovely little protectorate. Kong is already a protectorate of the Castilians, so we want to get some piece of this African pie here. Um, get as much control as we can. Gotta compete with them Spaniards. Uh, so right now though I'm gonna be sending all these troops over to America because I just want to get rid of some of these natives that are nativing their way around. And uh, we're gonna transfer some land to Uland. Uh, because we can do that without you know it impacting our um, overextension. 
which these lands do. Um, the land we take in Africa. That's why I'm doing uh, America before Congo, so... Now you know. Oh shit, Spain just announced me as a rival. Damn it, I guess we're not going to be friends with them then, are we now? That's kind of sad, I kind of wanted to be bros with those guys. But anyway, we are converting, um, and uh, East Frisia is actually getting converted to Protestant, without me having to do it. Kind of annoying actually, because I'm sure I could do it a lot faster, but... Whatever, our navy is uh, approaching, and it has just approached. Maybe if we make ourselves a... Uh, oh, no, mind, it just appeared for some reason. Federation with Iroquois, allied with Iroquois. I don't know, do we do these guys first? I think we do. Because I really don't want the Portuguese to take them. That is actually prioritized. Why is everyone allied to the Iroquois? I don't know. I didn't know how this works. Whatever. Can't see them anyways. I don't even know if they're going to join. They are actually going to join. Could make them make co-belligerents, but I don't think we need to, so... Let's just uh, show these guys some sweet-ass superiority. And they're actually a feudal monarchy. Yeah, the, the Native Americans have a, quite an easy time. Have they westernized as well? No, they're still lagging. Quite nastily, actually. But whatever. If these guys will die, it will be beautiful. Let's get ourselves over here. We'll want to keep an eye out for the... Ooh, hello. Now let's do trade efficiency. That stuff is useful. Okay, we can now see the Iroquois. Uh, so they're over here, chilling. We probably have to get them as well, because I don't think we can fool an X unless we have 100%, so... We'll have to go through this guy's land, whoever that is. I don't know, uh, but I know we need an explorer, or I mean a conquistador. So we can march over there. Let's go explore a bit, how about that? Oh, hello. Damn it! Oh, fucking hell, they're burning my colonies, aren't they? No! Stop it! Stop it. Okay, no, this is not okay. We need to get the guys on the boat. I need to go kill the Iroquois. Never mind, actually. They are now coming over to me. Because they have access through Portugal. How cute. Where are you going? Do not understand. Maybe they're hiding out over here? Let's see if they do. Uh, no, they didn't. Where are you hiding? And why am... Why are these people rebelling? Come on, man. Things gotta go my way. Okay, let's take back the colony. This is not gonna stop. Just because the Iroquois are being dumb. Iroquois, where are you? Oh, what the... Iroquois! ay ay ay. This is gonna take a while. Alright, here we go. We are now totally ruining these guys. Yeah, so no, the Iroquois did not have much land, unless uh, there is something I'm not seeing here. But yeah, this is good, this is good. Uh, so, Vinland is doing their jab. Even the Dutch have come around to help, that's nice. Good guy Dutch. I know I kind of vassalized you and stuff, but you know. It was for the greater good. I think we all have to accept that at this point. Uh, oh shit, what happened? Native upright, really? Really? Oh, there are actually a lot of dudes there. Crap. That's not good. I need to go down there and kill them then. So let's do just that. I done did, didn't pay attention. Here's the thing, we could just go to war against uh, Lenape while we're at it, because we're already fighting the Iroquois, and I wouldn't mind not fighting them again, so I think we're just gonna do that actually. I mean, yeah, fuck it, let's do that. Might overextend our poor little colony a bit, but that's alright. I am sure they can handle it. Yeah, I think we're just gonna swoop in, kill, kill, colonize, etc. And then we'll end the episode. Because... I'm sure this has been... Really, I, like, I love the way my episodes have been really long, even though I am editing them. And hello. Damn it. Oh, fucking hell, he's gonna ruin my... Unle... What? He did what? You did what? Hell no, you didn't. Damn it. I have to see it myself now. Oh, I have to. That's gonna cost me power. I have to send my guy back. Why are you so why are you such a douche, Mr. Native American? What is this all about? Oh crap! Our king died again! Wow! <laughs> why are the ears so old? This is not useful at all. 
And uh, I think I want to start grabbing some derps. And we want to send them over to good old Africa. Because we need to kill the uh, rebels over there. Die rebels! Very nice. Don't you mess with my core creation. Uh, so yeah, the natives want out of the war. Uh, I don't really think so. Although I guess we can peace out these guys, because the Iroquois want out. And so we will we'll just make them, I don't know, give us some war operations, why not? And all your treaties. I'm not going to make them a protectorate or anything like that, because it's not going to gain as much in the long run. And the long run is important, so... Yeah, we're just going to send the mods right there. And that's going to allow us to full annex Mahikan. Can you give us some aggressive expansion? But once again, no one really cares. Except for the natives, and they are kind of irrelevant. And already we have rebels. What? How does that even work? I don't even know, man. That is confusing. But yeah, we'll need to we'll need to kill those guys. So let's get our guys home from Africa. All right, let's kill those guys. And we have heresy in song. Damn it, people! What are you doing? Convert your asses back to uh, Protestantism. I thought we all agreed about this. I seriously thought we did. Whatever. Uh, we are now going to be uh, getting this province soon, I hope. Come on. Come on, Nyan. I don't want to do another edit. Ooh, new boats. Oh, that actually works out really nicely. Because I have plenty of cash right now, so I can easily upgrade them all. As well as I did intend to build, like that's going to be something I want to do in the next episode. I have a huge force limit, so I definitely need to upgrade my navy a bit. You could see in the previous war against the Dutch, that my navy is getting a bit weakened by all the wars I've been fighting. And I also want to build a massive trade fleet, and probably even... Are you, are you really... Are you really, really doing this again? Well, I guess it doesn't matter that I give it to the Netherlands, because let's face it, the Netherlands is my vassal anyways, right? Uh, although I might be able to resist it if I get like a leader in here and I make them spawn on my face. Maybe I'll even do an um, emergency mercenary. Because I mean, I've, I've cored it and converted it and everything, so I really wouldn't mind it staying under my control for some time. So let's do that and let's hope that this is going to be sufficient to keep those guys out. Yes, they start with crap morale. And we kill them. Very beautiful. We now also have a hundred percent against the natives here, so they will be annexed because that's what's coming for them. So yeah, I mean, imagine the beauty of our colony at this point if it hadn't been for this annoying Portuguese colonies right here. Ay ay ay. We need to. I need. I need to come up with a way to get these. This is not okay at all. Like, I can, I can dig that the... Well, I can't dig it, but, you know. I can accept that the Portuguese control some southern part here, but... I want this. I want this coast here. Some more of Canada, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we are really kind of running out of coast. Maybe I do want to think about getting into Mexico or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. And I should really... I need more colonies. Uh, when do I get more... Yeah, next level of tech, which is actually, like, now. Let's actually level up before we do anything else. And hey, the Dutch actually want you to marry me. They can do that? Yeah, I guess the Dutch probably can. So we're going to do that, and I think we're going to be doing a something a bit dumb. In that I'm not going to be taking a military idea, which I really should be doing at this point, because I have far too many military points. Instead, I will be taking expansion, because I need more colonists. Um, it is truly necessary. And since I have, exp uh, since I already have quality, uh, blah, 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 quantity, um, and I can take expansion, I can get an idea or a policy. I mean, that will give me another colonist, giving me a grand total of five colonists. And to me, that sounds great. Or actually, do you? No, you you only get one colonist from expansion ideas. But you know, otherwise, it's a good thing. A like shipbuilding useful for us. Global trade power really nice. Another merchant, really good. Recruit, like, all of this is really useful. Diplomatic relations, can allow us to have more vassals. For some reason, we can have five relations now. I never really figured out why that's a thing, but who gives a shit, right? And also, yeah, I mean, there are so many things we're going to be doing in the next episode. Maybe even considering increasing the level of our advisors. Or not, they're kind of expensive and I need money. 
Whatever, I'm talking too much. The episode's getting too long. Let's end it here. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.